that's what I think. Words of an OG. Hey, Deborah D here. Exactly. And you know what the ones I really like? Why are you dressing like a 20 year old? So this is Why a little bit of the intro to one, one of my and music and videos, comments, which you see here, the album cover. What? And I'm talking with one of my collaborators, Brandon Gomes from CSD Key. Woohoo! He has just released a great album and a great new song, and it's called Chop Shop. And you've got to see the music video if you haven't. <coughs> Highly recommend it. Um, and he is just an inspiration to me. But I wanted to share just a little bit of my comments here. This is a song I love. I've been here working, working. I don't see her, nothing, nothing. I don't see no way, no way. It's just all these facts and comments. I don't go nowhere, nowhere. Now, that is very important. It's just all these facts and comments. Why is that important? As tough as the music business is, it's even tougher to take the criticism and the comments. But hey, here's the worst part. The worst part is if you make music and nobody sees it and nobody's making comments. So there is something, <laughs> there is something worse than haters and there is something worse than, you know, getting some, what I'm gonna call good criticism, creative criticism, constructive criticism to help you be a better artist. Now, how do we get information and how do we get <clears throat> our music out there? So part three of our series here is called distribution. So series one, episode one, we talked about how to make music. Series, episode two of this series, we talked about branding and a series three, episode three, which we're on right now, we're gonna talk about distribution. So now that you got your music created, now that you're branded and you've got your Spotify page up and you're um, getting your music out there, how do you get it out to like iTunes, Amazon, um, Spotify, all of the big platforms, every place. I mean, there's every place people can go to hear music. <clears throat> Some places maybe you wouldn't think about. So TikTok, like I said earlier, is a huge platform for music. YouTube is huge. You can get your own artist YouTube channel now for music. And it's called an artist channel. And I think the minimum is you have to have five songs to be able to have a artist channel on YouTube music. So that is a huge one. Um, YouTube is like the biggest music platform, I think, on the planet. So how do you get on YouTube and all of these places where you want to be found? Because ideally, you want to grow your brand you want to be heard by anybody, any time of the day or night. How do you make it easy for people to find you? So, distribution recommendations. There are two that I have. First and foremost, I love DistroKid. And Brandon Gums turned me on to DistroKid. He said that he had good luck with it. I mean, there's just all kinds of people I had been looking at and I had signed up for one service prior to DistroKid and was totally not happy with it. It went nowhere. So DistroKid CEO is Phil Kaplan and he really believes in helping the aspiring artist. He also works closely with Spotify. So having that great partnership and having that great love of independent artists he has come up with a very good offering for um, an independent artist. Somebody just getting started, somebody who wants to be seen everywhere on any distribution mechanism that's important. DistroKid is very good for that. They can put you on TikTok, they can put you on 
YouTube, anywhere, any place that your music could be possibly played. Um, maybe somebody wants to pick it up and use it as part of their social media, you know, for a little dance they do or whatever, because they're creatives. You want to be able to get royalties and streaming revenue. So DistroKid has a very simple format. You go in, you pay by the song. There's even an option to have it forever up and available. In all of these options, you just go down the checklist, you fill in the information, it gives you an IRSC number, which is like a barcode number. And so that's tracking and managing all your information. The other thing that's important is that you should register with a, a record label service, like a BMI is a very good uh, place to register your music. And you should have all your music copy, copyrighted. So you need to go to the federal government, usgov.com, and you need to look at copyrights for, now this is very important, so not only the music, if you make the beats, so you need a copyright on the music. Um, number two, a copyright on the lyrics and a copyright on the song. Then if you make a music video, you should also have kind of what they call video motion picture rights. So you wanna go in and get copyrighted for all of that. So whatever is your original content, that's called intellectual property. You want to make sure you're protecting it, that you can people can stream it, that it's up on social media, and it's being distributed through all these channels so why they can keep track of it for you. So when you buy a service like DistroKid, you're gonna get analytics, you're gonna get analytics through Google if you're up on Google, and the other distribution channel I love is United Masters. And that's what my manager, Chris Richmond, had recommended to me. And so I switched over. I left all the music I had released prior to this year on DistroKid because I still love them. But United Masters, as you grow as an artist, I think has a little bit fuller of a complement of services that as you are going further into the music business and you want to have the opportunity to pitch your music to film, TV, the NBA, and other kinds of great venues, because let's face it, you're listening to uh, the end, you know, basketball games, football games, whatever, there's always music. Well, what if one day that was your music playing? Wouldn't that be something to celebrate? So United Masters is very worth checking out. So unitedmasters.com, distrokid.com, I recommend. If you're seriously looking at getting your music out there, being seen, being heard, being picked up in important places, you want to get on one of these two distribution channels is what I would say, apps. Now, what I love too is they collect money for you, royalties, and then they report them to you. Don't expect it in, you know, instantaneous results because sometimes there's up to three month lag. So go in and get the distribution set up. There's revenue channel there. I'm registered through BMI, and I love BMI. There's a lot of A-lister artists on BMI, and I also get royalties through BMI uh, for both lyrics and my song. And then you also get revenue through YouTube if you pop up your videos, and then you have so many hours of watch time, etc. So there's multiple streams where you can put your music up, people can stream it, they can have an option to either stream it or buy it. 
And so most of the music nowadays is going for 99 cents a song. I think the most is 149. So, you know, probably a very, very inexpensive song is in the neighborhood to produce and, and sound engineer, edit, all of these things, right? Pay people who help you. Um, probably a cheap a budgetary version of that is going to be about $5,000 to $6,000. And so you can see right away, you're going to have to stream a lot to come back with a profitable venture. So I would highly recommend that you get yourself good distribution and you practice like crazy and you make songs that are relevant. So my song comments, I love it. I've been here working, working. I don't see your nothing, nothing. I don't see no one, no one. It's just all these facts and comments. So remember this. Follow the distribution well, and I think you'll be successful. And absolutely have those fans as your number one priority, and reach out to them and ask them what they like. In the meantime, have fun creating. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate it. And keep those comments coming my way because I love to hear from you. And I love your feedback, even though some of it might be crazy. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Deb's, Deborah D. Deb's OG.